What's up, craft kids? Today we're going to be drawing a candy corn scarecrow. That's right, a candy corn scarecrow. It just seems like it works together. It just seems like it fits. Yeah. Really so cute. we had this idea last year and we didn't have time to do it. So we're going to bring it to fruition today. We're going to actually make it happen. You ready for this? Yeah. One, two, two three. three. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the body of the candy corn. Mm -hmm. which is the body of the candy corn scarecrow. Yeah. Um, and we're going to leave the, the top open, okay, because we're going to put a hat on there. But in practice, I was trying to do the hat first, and it just wasn't coming out quite right. So I want to do the body first, so we know we can get the body straight in the right shape that we want. So start about here, come down on a little bit of an angle out, and then it's rounded off at the bottom round it on the side, and then you try to come up at that same angle and stop. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a hat on. Now, I want my hat to be on a little bit of an angle, so eventually this is going to have to come up to meet the hat. But for right now, I'm just going to make sure it runs across this piece, on a, and it's going to be a little bit of a curve. So it's going to curve just like this, and I can go over these lines to make them a little thicker. But see how my hat is on a curve? Yeah. Excellent, I really dig that. Now we can bring this up and just have it meet. You can always thicken these lines later, okay? And then if we're sure that that's as wide as we want the hat, and I'm not sure, I think I want it a little wider, because again, it's a scarecrow, right? If his hat's too big, then it's too big. He's just there to scare away the crows. Yeah. All right, next we're gonna connect this point to this point with a big swooping curved line going to form the brim of the hat. Good. Next we're going to do the part of the hat that uh, is like the bucket of the hat or like we would call it the top of the hat maybe. And it's going to be basically it's going to line up with the edges of the candy corn because his head is going to go a little bit up inside there. So it's going to look like this. We're going to angle up like this. And we're gonna angle, uh, sorry, curve it across, and then we're gonna meet that angle there. And again, it's a little crooked on his head. Doesn't have to be perfect, right? Yeah, it does not have to be. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. And and so, as you can see, before you start, you see how like maybe if it was straight on his head, this these lines would match up, but yeah. they don't really match up because it's on his head crooked. Yeah, makes sense. Excellent. I love it. Okay, now we're gonna do eyes, okay? So the eyes are out in front of what's on his body, so we need to do those next. And his eyes are gonna sit right in this region here somewhere. And they're gonna be rectangles with rounded corners, but they're gonna be going up and down. I'll show you. So start one about here. Down, around, and up. Rectangles with rounded corners. And then just set the other one right next to it. Okay, next step is to put in the pupils, which are just gonna mimic the outside shape, and we're gonna color them right in. Just like alphabet lore. It is very reminiscent of alphabet lore. This could potentially be a food lore character, you know? It's true. I mean, you don't really grow candy corn, but he could be a scarecrow. Right, maybe he exists, and maybe he exists on the farm. Yeah. Especially around Halloween time. And yeah, maybe, uh, maybe he tries to give candy corn to everyone. That certainly would be kind of neat, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we'll see if we can work that in there somehow. Should okay. also, even if we don't add him in for the door, I feel like we should have a name for this guy. You know, yes. In case, like, yeah, let's get do that. Characters, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, you know, what like could we name him? Or... Next, we're going to do a mouth. Actually, I feel like next, let's do the, the, the color lines. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the top line, and these all have a slight curve to them. The top line is going to be where the white and the orange get separated. So white's on top, orange is in the middle. And we imagine this, I'm going to do the middle line first, right? So we imagine this line kind of curving a little bit. Comes out to the side, goes through the line, goes, goes through there, and curves up. And if we need to thicken that later, because it's not, like mine's not completely believable that it goes through like that, so when I come through later, 
I just make little adjustments so it looks better. Yeah. Okay. And then right about here, we're going to put in the line that separates the orange from the yellow. And I think my best move is to turn the paper. Yeah. Because I'm better at that when I turn the paper. Okay. It's going to come through just like so. When we did our candy corn drawing last year, I think it was Odin and I, yeah. did we even make a mouth? Because I, don't think so. I think we used this portion of the, this separation as the mouth, and you could even get away with that, but on this one, we're putting in the mouth. Yeah. So this is gonna have a scarecrow like mouth where it's a curve like this. That is not a perfect curve, but that's okay. A curve like this, okay. And then we put in some stitches. And the stitches can just look like this. Okay, perfect. Perfectly unperfect. Yeah. <laughs> and we can thicken those up later a bit as well. Good, so now we have our basic candy corn body. And we have our hat, eyes, all that stuff. We need to put in a stick that it's sitting on. So we'll put a stick in down here and sticks are not perfectly straight. So we're gonna go something like this, have it make a little jut out. Just so it's more stickish. And then on and then on the other side, bearing in mind that the stick's gonna get slightly thicker as it goes down, we're gonna do something like this. Anything like that will do. Okay, I like cool. how unperfect they are, you know, like, but yeah. they're, that makes them, like, perfect. Uh, un unperfect. Perfectly unperfect. Perfectly unperfect. Or perfectly imperfect. Per yeah. Okay. Now, coming out of the sides of where the orange is and sl running slightly down into where the yellow is, we're going to have our arms. Yeah. Our scarecrow arms. And they're just going to stick out straight and not very far. And they're going to have jagged edges like this. And they're gonna look like that. Good. And then we're gonna do one on the other side. And these do not need to be perfect because scarecrows are not. Have you ever seen a scarecrow? No, they're not. Perfect. They're usually just old clothes stuffed with straw. Yeah. So this one's gonna try to be similar. Okay, it's not like that. It's also gonna be jaggedy. And it's gonna come in something like that. I like them. Okay. So far, so good. Next is the straw that's coming out of the ends of the sleeves. These are sleeves, we're gonna color them brown probably. Yeah. Then we have a bunch of straw sitting out, it's gonna kinda of look like a hand. Yeah. So if you can imagine what a bunch of pieces of straw would look like, we're just gonna go like, kinda of crazy. Yeah, kind of crazy like this. And we can show some overlapping, some going in behind like this, sticking out like this. There really is no wrong way to do this. Even if you use like singular pieces of black, that would be fine. Like if we did a piece like that sticking out, that's completely fine. Put a piece in there, that's completely fine. Just pieces of straw. Good, I like that a lot. Now we do the same thing on the other side. It doesn't have to even mimic that at all. Just do a bunch of randomness again, because again, it's straw sticking out. It's pretty wacky, so. <laughs> cool, good job, babes. All right, now I feel like there's, besides coloring, there's one piece that's sort of undone in my mind that needs to be kind of fixed before we move on. And it's in behind the hat here. Because if you're looking at it from this angle, you would be able to see this hat, the curve of the hat coming in behind yeah. his head. So we're gonna go like this match that up to the outside edge and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side there we go it looks better honestly it does isn't it like kind of fills in that empty space so now we are ready to thicken in color excuse me oh my gosh, i literally burped at the same time <laughs> yes burping power <laughs> uh are we going to thicken in color on camera or are we going to a match trick the last time I don't think we did a magic trick. So. We didn't. Let's do a magic trick. 
So, Madge, you want to explain how this is going to work? Yeah, so for our magic trick, so since we haven't done a magic trick in a while, we're going to do one. And we're going to make it halloween -y since the drawing's halloween -y, and we're doing a halloween -y kind of drawing. Exactly. So, to, to, in order to do this magic trick, we need to stack our papers like this. Okay. And then, we're going to grab the witch hat and put it right over. Put it right on top, and then... When you pull it off, what's gonna happen? You'll see. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, that one worked. Okay, yours is called. They both worked. Yes. Let's go. All right, Mazzy, these came out awesome. Ready? One, one two, two, three. three. Candy, candy dorn, dorn to candy corn. corn. After a lot of discussion, Maddie and I decided we're gonna call this guy. Shandy Dorn the candy corn. Shandy Dorn the candy corn. We had a lot of fun with this character. Um, this is Shandy Dorn, the candy corn, who is clearly a scarecrow, a candy corn scarecrow, and um, is scaring, is busy scaring all the crows as we approach Halloween. So, you be the judge if Shandy the candy corn, Shandy Dorn Shandy the candy, Dorn. Shandy Dorn the candy corn is actually scary, or is he friendly? What is he? He may even make a surprise appearance in our food lore series. We haven't quite decided that yet. But, regardless, Shandy is a pretty cool character. Yeah. So, we hope you enjoyed drawing along with us. Hopefully you made your own Shandy Dorn the Candy Corn. Or, name it whatever you want. We had a great time. Bundle of fun. So, until we see you next time, keep drawing. Stay, stay awesome. awesome. Bye! Bye. Nice.